We begin tonight in Dundas, where more people are speaking up about fraud involving gift cards. And this follows a story we brought you last week about a family losing out on a $300 purchase. Jason Guidola joins us live in studio with more reaction. Jason. Yeah, that's right, Taz. Last week, Lawrence Diskin of Dundas says his daughter purchased an Apple gift card at a local shopper's drug mart, only to find out the money was gone minutes after its activation. Today, he tells me restitution was made, but the problem is much larger than expected. Package, just the gift cards. Lawrence Diskin says he received the $300 owed to his daughter after she discovered her Apple gift card of the same value was empty last week. There were no apologies, no explanations. The package uh, you know, came with nothing in it. No letter explaining anything, just, just the cards. In this package sent to him are two Visa gift cards with protective labeling on the back of the barcode. Diskin says he was notified about their refund a day after he and his daughter Lainey met with CHCH News last Wednesday to share their story about her prepaid purchase at this Dundas Shoppers Drug Mart earlier in the week. I can't tell you how many people have stopped me in the street recognizing me off of the item that ran last week and saying, it happened to me. And they all had similar stories. They picked it up at a retailer where it's not protected. And when they went to pay, it was empty. Many people we spoke to err on the side of caution involving gift cards sold at third party retailers. I, last time I bought a gift card, the gentleman in shoppers did explain about the, the coding at the back and how it uh, can be compromised. So um, he was very knowledgeable, but it got me a little paranoid. According to ex-Shoppers Drug Mart employee Patty Jensen, problems with prepaids have occurred at many stores in the last 10 years. They were getting so many um, problems with the cards, they went to the third party. But before that, it was just shoppers would refund them. Blackhawk Network, who manages the gift cards sold at Shoppers, sent the refund to Diskin. CHCH News sent questions to the company asking how often fraud occurs and how many reimbursements it made tied to investigations. We have yet to hear back. One retail analyst tells me that empty gift cards after purchase at a retailer became a common occurrence last year and usually it's unclear who bears responsibility for the lost dollars. They're going to have to learn to build detection systems that can help them determine when it was, you know, when it was fraud versus when it was a customer behaving badly. Retail analyst Bruce Winder says companies are looking at other ideas to improve security. Using AI to try to profile certain people or certain habits or certain, certain times of the week or times of day to try to heighten awareness toward fraud. So definitely there's a lot of technology being thrown at it right now. We also attempted to reach out to Shoppers Drug Mart today asking how many prepaid card complaints they've received in the past year. And we've also yet to hear back from them as well.